was a dream that was real. It shall be realized. These are the wishes of Marcus Aurelius. There's a new update. If you're looking for the mod updates, uh, it's best if you like go to their page, Patreon and uh, subscribe for one dollar. Uh, one dollar. There's a bunch of shit over there. There's even the models for the Carthaginian, quote unquote, you know, units. Hail to the king, baby. Wait a minute, I need to look up what the hell is that? Been so long since it's set up. Jesus Christ, man. Thanks for the $50, whoever that is, Anonymous. Now, why the hell doesn't stream elements want to load? Okay, there we go. Now, the plan is here, first off, to save the castle over there, because there's a pretty shit army over there. Yeah, only for uh, $1 is the, like, first tier, and you get the all the... Oh, what's up, Sammy? Long time no see. Yeah, one do I, think, I think it's $1 for the, like, basic, uh, you know, tier. And I think you get everything from it. Let me check, actually. Uh, I'll send a link into the... Into the chat. Let's find the Patreon... No, actually, two euros. So it's not one dollar, but, you know, it's not much still. If you want all the updates from the devs, then you can actually, like, go onto their Discord server and find out. I just can't pay attention to that much stuff. Since Sammy donated... 50 euros i'll hop in and see what i can find out but the problem is there i like i can't really sh sh i mean i can talk about it but i can't really sh well can i you know it's exclusive content right so it's uh, like i can't uh, i can I can, I can get in and then talk uh, share everything that's not kind of that's a scummy thing to do i guess so maybe not <laughs> but i can hop in and see what's up they have, but since they have the models for the Cartaginian faction, which is the one that they're gonna implement the last, from what I from what I understand, they're probably uh, they're probably gonna yeah no problem man they're probably gonna they're probably gonna like implement them pretty quick since they already got the models done. It's just about like you know completing the faction, adding all the units, you know the, the trees and all that. Should be in pretty quick then. From what I gather, the Patreon guy is the one that's actually creating the models. So that's basically all he needs to do is just make models for everything he needs in the game. All the like armor and stuff. Then he'll add it into the game. I wanna fight this. I need to find music for this. Hold, for Hold your fire. Since I already pl played through this battle to test it out, it's gonna be easy. I know where to camp and what to do. Maybe not get killed this time. A random peel or a bow, I'm not sure. Arrow, I'm not sure. That was fucking grass is annoying as all hell. It's funny to see the AI actually like get into a good position for once. Let's be smart for once. Now, I am thinking of like, uh, they turn off the UI, like uh, if I split up my infantry, maybe I can like uh, make uh, two to studios formations or one to studio formation, like march up to their, like in front of their infantry and the rest on their archers. 
my work. Jesus Christ, the turn Oh, right. You run over there, don't get yourselves killed. Hmm. Is there an option to actually, like, have the HP on? Health points? Crosshair UI skill. Damage taken, personal there. Now let's turn the. Yeah, turn those off. Locked up now. Wait a pop. For shouts? I think those are the like uh, commands we get, right? Mm, there might there might be a way to like turn off the UI just to leave the health bar over there in the bottom. I could probably look into that. That shouldn't be too too hard to figure out if you have some modding knowledge. Because it's usually just a couple of numbers. Well not numbers, but lines of text. You see, they can't see us because we blend into the into the grass. they someone made a mod or if you could actually like take your archers and tell them to shoot at the archers not the infantry because you all know what's gonna happen okay maybe spread about a little bit because still you if you like tell your archers to shoot at will they're gonna you know shoot at the shield wall or fire at the shield wall which is gonna do fuck all because you can't really break enemy shields in this game even if you pick the like what was it the shield breakle all rts camera could do that which one like uh, leave the hp on Unfortunately, I looked into like adding the RTS camera, but this doesn't seem to work. It hasn't been updated for quite a while. Or I just I couldn't launch the game for some reason. I have uh, like a really bad luck with like installing mods. So far, at least. When it comes to Bangalore. Or uh, I just had the mod in the game constantly breaks. I do like the fire arrows mod. That was pretty good. Fortunately, it break. It just crashes the game for God knows what reason. Commanding troops on what to kill. God damn it! <laughs> now I want that. Arrows. But Move. I guess I'll have to make two, right? It'd be funny if someone made a hyper realistic uh, like game if you march your troops through water you, their feet are wet now they're gonna catch a cold hold your oh right that guy doesn't have a shield I literally can't see them because they're green. <laughs> see, it's camouflage, man. That would be funny if, like, you're playing with the faction and you, like, uh, start battling the Scythians or Sekai or in this in this mod, and you or the, the Shar, and you just like um, 
Is it the Shar? No, the Kuzites. Never mind. It's, uh, it is, this is a prophecy of Endor. Like you switch your faction color to the yellow or brownish, so you blend in with the so you blend in with the sand. What the fuck is this? what the fuck are they archers doing? I got your archer skill, I don't mind. Unfortunately, me being me, we'll never see some action going on. Because I always move away from the shield wall. It would be fucking funny if I lost the battle even though I won it in my test run. Even though I died. You know? Oh god, the turn speed is so shit when you have a... When you couch a lance. And I have to remember, I do need to make a companion who's gonna command a party. And the idea is gonna be to, like, um, get him to do nothing except join my army when I make one. Might actually try. That gives me, because I don't think. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the diplomacy mod thing. Or was it in vanilla game? But you can form a like a faction inside of faction, and you can uh, what's the word for it? Succeed, right? From the from the you know your faction, so I can create one. <laughs> Okay. We can only choose two, so let's pick up the run of the mill legionaries. Okay, so very under ninety. Tactics, rollery, charm, leadership. Okay, so we're gonna need the party leader to have a leadership. Stewardship or make him the quartermaster and uh, what the fuck the hell do they tactics I think and we're gonna make the second one he's only gonna get 95 yeah hmm gonna make the second Guy, the scout, tactics, and riding, I guess. Oh no, shit! Right there, change this round so you can add, uh, like, uh, choose which skills are they gonna have the most in, the most points in. Yeah, tertiary, primary, secondary skills. I guess uh, give him some trade. Yeah, more stewardship and more leadership. Okay, so the second guy. Scouting. Athletics. And riding. It's way up overpowered. I don't mind if I do, right? <laughs> I mean, uh... But you can just make uh, the best companions ever. Okay. I, I guess if you dump all of these into one single... single th thing, you can make them just... you know, have the full... skill tree. 
Uh, we gave him scouting, athletics, and riding. Uh, let's give him roguery and. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't matter. You can select none. Well, actually, you can't. You need to select one of them. Um, give him more tactics, I guess. I guess it's down to you if you make it overpowered or not. Just don't select everything into like one. Well, all three is, you know, primary, secondary, and tertiary skills into one. Why is she smiling? Oh, you're gonna be imprisoned. Look at her fucking faces change. What the? Okay. We're gonna say that's a shadow, right? Twenty three K experience. Ah. We're gonna need the money, I think. Still. You can disband the uh, the army I was leading just because I ran out of money at the end. First check this okay, so So our brother is the quartermaster, we have a scout. Engineer. I so wish you had a. Can you? Can you? No. You had a way to like uh, rename these because Placidius Greenleaf, Rebellious Adale, Alpheus the Red, Lucidius. Okay, but the, the gallant. I mean, you can't change everything in the game, I guess, but still. Would be nice. What's up, pro gamer? Like, it would be, it would be like, virus, well, the surgeon, you know, that fits, but like, Placidius Greenleaf, the... What the fuck is he? The scout. You know, so we can name him like that, so I can actually figure out which one is what. Now, oh. Well, I started like, uh, what is it, 23 minutes ago. We just had one battle, that's it. Detail character creation. That's a mod too, is it? And I re really should like sit down and look through the next mod at one point. But there's so many mods, man. Too many. Horse guess. I sh I should have. Uh, I should have picked up uh, in uh, the g companions I need to create a party then picked up all the extra garrison units we received and made a party out of it not just dis disband them all but oh well what can you do can I dump them what oh right it's mine <laughs> Legionarius Egregius. Uh, right? Weird name. We're just gonna sell off these. Dump all this stuff. Would be about time to for myself to get the to get the shield, right? I can actually use horseback. And see something. Actually, let's go to the Mitting Guild. See all the variants. Four hundred five. Eh. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one for uh, siege battles. 
let's take this one for uh, the lock all these. I hope I did. Okay, I did not. All right, I need to buy a spotter so we can actually hit something. I did watch a video from a guy who made it like a bandit take their money, feed prisoners, tools, clothes, and their dinaris. Well, I mean, I mean it's, it is a role-playing game, action RPG, third-person thing. You can do whatever you want. There's people who just like going around and trading stuff. You know, just make a trade empire of sorts. Let's set up. Have the extra pilum. Is there any other cloak we can use that doesn't fuck up the shield on your back? Even if it gives us less uh, armor, doesn't really matter to me. Jesus. Ooh. Wait a minute. I think these are new. Maybe uh, there's a bunch of people who have problem ma problems making money in Bannerlord because. Um, and they just go around smithing, you can make a shitload of money. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, these look awful. We should do this one, right? But now... Wait a minute, how much... Uh, I can't buy the new one just yet. I don't have the money for it. The ivory ones. Or even the leather ones, they look nice. Yeah. So it's not new? Oh, maybe I just... Uh, right, I didn't buy the helmet. In the, I actually didn't buy any armor in this... Uh, this playthrough yet I don't think so that's like not important that much right I was looking for a cloak which is okay apparently we okay so it's gonna give us 20 We're gonna keep this, but you know. Emperor's cloak. It has five more body armor because it's purple, right? Wait, wait, wait. Visible shoulders. And one just one of them. Wait a minute. Shit. Reset all that. I have no clue what I did. Yeah, this mod is pretty good. Do I want to look at the... Yeah, that one. I did give a bunch of gear... Actually, that's what I spent my spent my money on. I did go through the, well, not him because he's the surgeon. I did do, go through and give my companions some better. Actually, I gave I gave them weapons because they don't really need any better armor, more or less. I did give someone the armor I got from the emperor. I think maybe to him. I'm not sure. I did give one of them the armor I got from the Emperor. But since I'm using the Distinguished Service mod, most of them come with the gear they already had in the battle. So if I promote a Legion or an Archer, he gets the bow, 
uh, gladius and the arrows and the armors they use in as you know troops Wars. and he's a surgeon he's not supposed to be in battle yeah we can give him some stuff he has scrolls so much Never mind, he already has a helmet. Chest piece, chest piece. Jesus Christ, this costs a lot. Break a Hamata. Yeah, sure, we're gonna get an upgrade. I actually loot all the dead on the battlefield. Well, then that that would make money like a non-issue in the game, I guess. Then, because you can. Oh, well, that's too good. Then, this makes the game too easy. I'd say. Or would make the game too easy. Ransom, sure. There you go. Okay, now, we're still at war with the Western Empire. Uh, but how, how many mules do you need then, Sammy? Because if you... I mean... Um, if you take everything... Well, I, I mean, I pick up a lot of mules, so I don't have... Well, I usually have like a 30,000... Air capacity is uh, somewhat around there. But you would need a lot of meals if you're gonna carry all that around. And then uh, the problem is when you sell it, you literally have uh, the herd debuff for your speed. This is smithing. Um, I don't like actually like sitting there and doing this smithing. It just becomes too boring for me. Who leveled up? I think I, yeah, I did set it to for them to auto level, so I don't have to waste time with this. Fancy loot. <laughs> Man, you would have to like sit there and pick up, pick out the stuff you need. I would like to waste it as little time as possible. Even though I, I'm sitting here for what half an hour just doing, did one battle, which is really slow for me. We are at war with the Western Empire. Wait a minute. Where's the thing that's supposed to be up here because we're at war? Okay. Maybe that just disappeared and the game's not gonna crash. I'm hoping for that. Well, we're not an emperor yet. We're just a lord. But uh, the... What's this called? The... Northern Empire is like a republic and you can... Uh, right, uh, where is it? Uh, hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, one mod's not working. A diplomacy mod is not working apparently. Thankfully, it didn't crash the game. If we can only propose peace, we cannot propose an alliance. Um. Uh, you mean the culture start? I think that's the one that actually like uh, makes it so you can actually like choose if you're gonna start as like a you know a, you know low level wanderer. Okay, there we go. Capturing. Finally.
plus like Vortex is kind of... I don't know, I just don't have any good experience with it. It's much easier for me to do it manually. But all you need to do is like know where to put the files from the mod in. Unless it's like uh, Skyrim or one of the Bethesda games, then you're screwed. Unblock the DLL, D DLL, yeah, DLL files. I never had an issue with that, though. Like, uh, all my mods work without unblocking the thing. Okay, this is set up correctly. Yeah, for Skyrim, but uh, if you want... Isn't there one of the mods that you need to download some other other thing? Thanks, thanks Carbon for the follow or on travel. Don't you? I think the UI mod needs a separate like mod launcher or some stuff. Okay, so what to do? What to do? Yeah, now we can form a faction. The session abdication, yeah. Force the leader of the kingdom to step down. I guess you could do that at like a later date if you gather enough support. And there is the now I forgot what the name is. Crossing the Rubicon, or Crossing the Rubicon, I think is the mod called. It's uh, another Roman mod that looks pretty good, but it, it it looks like it's only like for YouTube, like big YouTubers, and uh, available to only to big YouTubers and uh, I guess people on their Discord server or the mod's Discord server. Heavy eight hundred influence. Ooh, we actually got some money coming in. Can we actually form an army or is everyone taken? No, we actually can. Is it gonna be enough though? Problem is I don't really know what I wanna take for myself. Well, the idea is gonna be to like, I guess take all this, the center part of the map as per usual. Lower slab mods. <laughs> oh god. I think there's more more mod content than the actual game content content at this point. Yeah, we want to take. Well, the problem with this is like, I want to just take this here, but I want to take this too. But I want to take like like Nutella. You just want to take more and more. <laughs> Kingdom of Marda. I know what it is, but I can't remember. The Siege Castle, which is near. Well, everything is near us now because we're in the center of the map. We're the prime target for the enemy. Okay, let's gather them up. Decline. We're gonna try and get the Onika and the and Onika castle, and like grab this. Cause I don't, I don't want that much stuff. Actually, you don't need that much cities and castles to like hold or you know have a decent income. Like taking this area here. Okay, maybe this should be our, yeah, like, here, then grab these. Maybe even this because it's, you know, there. Slow rings, yeah. Yes, I did see that. Okay, 
If they don't take that side, they will siege back. You, you think? You think I'm gonna let them? I'll see the problem is now. Oh, once, once we go to war with Southern Empire, I want Poros. But I want... I can't pronounce that too. Let's gather the army and like go on a rampage again. Will I lose? Oh, wait. Yeah, we're gonna need some food. Oh, it's gonna suck. Oh, right. I did run out, of, run out of food at some point because, of course, the army that was with me didn't have any food, so it, it ate mine. That's so fucking annoying. I wish they didn't add that into the game. Oh, come on, Steam. Oh, boy, move the fuck away. K dinaris a day <laughs> while my income is like 500 <laughs> uh, shit I'm poor okay that should be enough maybe right let's pick up more mules just in case Oh, the idea is like conquer the middle part of the map. Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. You just need to wait for these guys to actually show up. Should be close, right? 21 hours away. 8 hours. I wish the. Well. Doesn't matter that much. Oh, would you look at that? Come back here, I did so see you. Yeah. Get fucked. I did up the difficulty on this one, right? Yeah, we moved too easy once I hit like a... Uh, more horses? We will. I usually like don't buy horses at all, I just pick them up from... Uh, after battles, you know? So this is okay. We're gonna up the difficulty once I hit 300 party capacity. Jesus Christ. Their facial expressions, man. Now hopefully there's not gonna be an army of like 200 of them coming at us. I do like the deployment. It's so good. Hmm. They're gonna camp the hill, are they? Yeah, that's... For sure they're gonna camp the hill. And we do have the... Yeah, 1k armies on. Right now I can see the weapons on my back, for once. Infantry! Form a shield wall! Go! Whoa! Yeah! Well, it's, it's fill stacks, right? I need to grab that because it's like the biggest issue in Warband. If you up the campaign difficulty from like anything above four, the yeah, AI just spawns inst instantly back into the game with a thousand troops. Which was real freaking annoying. I like how shit gets blurrier if you zoom in. <laughs> Come on, choose your spot. See, now the problem is if they're gonna camp... Okay, never mind. They can't make up their mind. Their, uh, their reinforcement is just gonna spawn there. Let's hug that rock for now.
Yeah, they, they can't make up their mind. Did they all shoot that? What? Oh shit. That was such a good idea, right? You gonna make up your mind to scamp anywhere? Come on. Oh yeah, yeah, that will make the game too easy for the enemy just, I mean, they can't muster troops as fast as they can. Then again, in like, in, even in Total War with all their cheats, you can, if you still like beat a couple of their armies, you can just steamroll them. Well, the AI armies. Although I do play with the Total War Warhammer for now uh, with the Radius mod. Which just makes the AI have a shit ton more, or shit, a shitload of more armies. Archers, take over command. Archers, hold arrows. That nah, shit. Now nah, I got to, I got to use the UI. I delegate the command to someone else for a second, I guess. Are you gonna stop moving for, for fuck's sakes? I guess not, so let's uh... Yeah, the AI. <laughs> I mean, what can you do about the AI? There's just no freaking way to fix them. Or to make them work intelligently. I guess the, uh, the idea would be to like implement mods into the download online mod to play against the actual players that will fix a lot of stuff I guess yeah I need to move my cab over here because they're gonna spawn over there I need to make a shot where I get pissed off at the, the fact that the enemy reinforcements spawn like next behind your ass. So hopefully some like mod comes out with uh, comes out with the mod. Enemy reinforcements come off the map like in Total War. <laughs> oh, this is so good. I mean, it could be. I'm not sure if the engine won't handle it. But I mean, if Planet Side 2 can do it. Wait, wait a minute. What was the player cap on the uh, Planet Side 2? Oh, yeah, yeah. Come closer. Come closer with your archers. Like if it worked for plan side too, they probably can make it work. This, I mean, the first step would be like a uh, players commanding like little squads of troops, I guess. Like it, there is in multiplayer, but on campaign, something like drop-in battles for total war that would be freaking cool. Okay, maybe don't give orders when you're facing a lot of archers. Gets shot and just you know stands back up because you know. All right, they're not gonna get reinforcements because um, you have to play the uh, troop count, right? <laughs> I 
keep forgetting I got the new GPU, but uh, performance still drops a little bit just because I. Uh, just because uh, the CPU can't keep up. Well, and there's a t thousand people on the field, though. And especially if there's freaking snow. I hate the snow, man. Yeah, get her. Uh, they g give mo morale, right? Yeah, mostly a CPU game. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like that's that was a problem for me. Like before, well, even now for Warband, I, the game just runs like shit on my PC. I can't get it to work fine. Um, making medic. Let's uh, give, uh, give him athletics and uh, that. Let's actually see how overpowered can we make him. Sit at the brave. No, but there was always a problem like uh, in Prophecy of Pandora when you're fighting the Jatu because you're just facing uh, 200 enemies plus 200 of their horses, which the CPU has to like, you know, work on to process. I'm actually surprised we didn't get more losses. Yeah, we need the money. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's see the newest guy. Yeah, you can basically get them to the full thing. Maybe I should leave this guy in my party, right? Auto allocate clan member perks. Mm, maybe he needs another level up or something till he gets that. Let's switch him out. Surgeon. Casualty survival chance 3.4. Healing rate. <laughs> yeah, that that may be a bit overpowered, right? 190. What does this guy have? 170. Max max track difficulty can be declared. Spotting tracking from. Well. I mean, it's not as good as before, like you have pathfinding and you move faster, so not that big of a deal. <laughs> Sell them off. We're gonna need more food because all, all these people that are coming into the party are gonna eat it all up. As per usual. Large bag of pilum? No. God damn it. Oh, maybe I should have checked if the, if the town actually had the money. Yeah, let's... Uh, Siege the city down first because it's gonna have more troops in it. You supposedly should have more troops in it. Oh god damn it, now we're gonna be too slow to catch this guy. Maybe we should let them gather up first, maybe. Well, let's catch catch the Emperor. Never mind, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, move, move, yeah, move that way. Yes, yes, yes. And let's get this guy in there too. 
I like how he's literally freaking ignoring me. <laughs> oh, good. This guy caught him. Nice. Now well, this is going to be a big battle. I do want to like uh, play through uh, Prophecy of Pandora again. Mounted archers. Ugh. I guess that's what are we gonna play some who has a hope oh, let's give our Yeah let's let's not get her killed intentionally not let not get her killed in, intentionally Yeah it's fucking great Although it is a spin-off the of the Caladia Awakens mod I guess There's probably a video out there that explains why they split off and stopped working on that one find out where the hell is the enemy they're gonna camp a hill who would have guessed oh yeah mount mounted cab is skirmisher cab is so freaking overpowered and so freaking annoying Fuck. All right. You do what you do best. Kill all, kill all the enemies. Come on. We're counting on you. I can't tell. Are these no, these are these are not mine. This guy mine? N no. <laughs> oh, he is. He's mine. Yeah. I'm gonna get a shot in the back. Then we're gonna do fuck all damage soon. On guard. Well, I do need to take a look. Well, we, we did face the Sakai for a little bit. In this playthrough, I do wonder, like, um, oh, I do wonder how OP is the mod, mod, how OP are the mod troops for him. What a plebeian in the infantry line. We're gonna fail now. The testudo is only as good as. Yeah, the, the suit is only, or well, the shield wall is only as good as the weakest member, right? Actually, yeah, if they're gonna camp that hill, well, let's camp this hill. Place the cab up there. Stop shooting me. He really is brave. Oh, oh, that, oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's yeah, that's a problem. If he's our medic, he's gonna go down, and we're gonna get no replenishment. It was really f funny when the AI just places uh, the lords into the infantry line. Because, oh, I wish, I wish my archers fired on them. Oh, please just fire. Nah, they're not gonna do it. Yeah, when the enemy lords just stay in, in the infantry line, they just get, they just get shot to shit.
I do wonder if in the mod for like Prophecy of Pandor. Yeah, that works, Sammy. If the enemy doesn't decide to like uh, just ignore them and go for the archers. Which I'll demonstrate. Well, I think that only happens if you're uh, defending, I guess. It's funny when they can't form up because, uh, like, they can't get to their designated place in the in the sh formation. Oh, cool. Oh no, that's the archers, never mind. Actually, ooh. Oh, that's not gonna work. They're not even gonna keep the shields up. Okay, the enemy is moving in at an angle. That's gonna work out for him. Groups of, I think it might be better to actually like make two groups of infantry. Like keep one in the front in a square formation or a shield wall and keep another in the like in front of the arches to just you know keep them safe. Actually let's Let's see what the AI is gonna do because it did like uh, get a couple of guys or give a com uh, the cav a commander. Let's see what they do. Do their tactic skill actually do something? Whole lot of nothing is happening. In the shield wall. I guess that's the point. I'm not sure why the AI is losing this badly. I mean, uh. We do have, uh. We did ra raise a difficulty, and they are not all just recruits. They're getting slaughtered. Oh yeah, I do have some problems with the new uh, battle system. Like, uh, you can't assign specific troops to a group anymore, which is kind of kind of sucks. So you can't like uh, leave your companions in a group. You can tell them to run away, which I usually do, so they don't get wasted in the battle. And because. Uh, like the Centurions and the Optios give you party capacity, party size. You can't actually like uh, and like separate them. You can sort them by by the armor, but like uh, there is no light armor in the Romans, I guess, unless you're counting the like first few tiers of. Uh, Auxiliary, auxiliary, I can't pronounce that word right. And you, you, the low tier troops, which you don't usually have a lot of them, or any of them. Or maybe the ones with the. Ooh, 